And that is, whoa, Neji, <laughs> Neji, Neji. <laughs> Hey guys, uh, today uh, I'm going to be moving the rest of the lines around. Uh, I didn't get to a few groups last time. Uh, what I really want to do is uh, move the six um, lines that reside together, Thor's group. And uh, I want to move Vietzi, Livy and Ginny into a bigger area. So it's just those two small little moves. But while I'm at it, I just want to give you guys a bit of an update on Vietti. So we had the vet out recently to do some checks. Uh, there is something that I wasn't really uh, happy about, which I will go through when we um, are in physical contact with him in a few moments. All right, so arriving at the sanctuary, um, hyenas in the water. That just shows you how hot it is. Oh, hello, boy. Hello, girls. Oh, hello, boy. Hello, girls. Hello, George. Morning. Greet the lions first, then you, hey? <laughs> all right, so we're all prepared, ready to rock and roll. Oh, move, boy. Yeah, yeah, move, move. Move. Hello, my boy. <laughs> Hello, big boy. Who's up, my boy? Hello, my boy. Oh, 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 oh. Hello. So you wouldn't say that there's anything wrong with that because that behavior looks pretty normal. Um, he's been all friendly. Um, normal Vietti, normal, <laughs> normal Ginny ignoring me. Hello, that's very nice. That's not very normal. And Livy is where she was, yeah, being all suspect. Anyway, let's let's get them loading, and then I'll I'll go into a little bit of detail as to what my concerns were with Vietti. Okay, so it's a strict loading regime. Um, first Ginny, then Livy, and then Vietti. Yeah. Okay, that was rather painless. Nothing too fancy in our, our loading technology. It's still rather primitive. It uh, has to be physical and strong. So it has to be physically strong um, because you're dealing with obviously lions. So it doesn't help, and we've tried in the past, it doesn't help to get too fancy. Um, that, you see, that's, eh? Huh? Uh, yeah, I'll come into my own car. Okay, so that behavior there of Aetsi, that grumpiness, I mean, it's really, he's never been like that with the girls. He's normally been super duper tolerant. Um, never ever really got grumpy with them. And now all of a sudden he's been grumpy with the girls. And on occasion, he's been grumpy with me too. So, you know, he doesn't do anything that's really hectic. I mean, he doesn't um, beat the hell out of them or um you know bite them so bad that we need to call the vet but it's just this snappy behavior it's just this irrita irritability and that kind of that kind of thing and um so it, it got me wondering what's up with Fayetzi and then um the other day I was looking at his his body and I kind of noticed that his um his rib cage was slightly distended. So, but you know, by that I mean just not the normal. Kind of looks like he's pregnant in a in a in a many respects. Um, it's not on the stomach area. It's more on the by the ribs. And uh, I've had cases of that in the past where that could be symbolic of something underlying. And so I just wanted to be precautionary and uh, get 
Dr. Caldwell out so that we could do a, a uh, ultrasound and just, just have a quick look to see if there's any abnormalities or anything abnormal going on and just you know give him a good health check take bloods test the blood see that everything's okay and we did that the other day and um, I'm very happy to report that uh, the ultrasound revealed nothing other than a healthy normal uh, set of organs so it looked really phenomenal from the ultrasound and then the bloods also came back um, showing that Vietzi has a healthy set of bloods so all the levels are absolutely 100% normal which would then only leave one other thing to do and that would be perhaps if this moodiness continues perhaps we should look at x-raying the lungs just to see that there isn't something more sinister there and it's causing him a bit of discomfort and the discomfort's causing him a bit of irritability so you know um, we've been watching him quite closely and quite carefully I've been monitoring him really really closely just seeing how his attitude is towards the girls how his attitude is towards me generally speaking Vietzi's friendly so he comes up and he will be very friendly toward you um, and that's that's normal Vietzi but then after about three four minutes maybe maybe longer then I see I notice this irritability popping um, through so perhaps you touch him on the head or on the body and then he has this kind of reaction to you where he, he, he reacts that's atypical Vietzi and that's that's what's 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 concerning me um, is it because he's feeling uncomfortable and there's this underlying issue or is it just the fact that he's getting old um, and I have seen that guys in other lines um, to be honest I have seen lines that have gone their whole lives been the nicest cats you'll ever meet and then they get to a certain age and kind of like people you know some people we know they get to a certain age and they stop becoming grumpy so could just be the case with Vietti. Um but also it, it might not be so we just got to keep an eye on that hello boy hello girl okay we're gonna let you out you can see she's not happy with him she's not happy with him and that's not that's not how it should be hey that's not how it should be So much so that Ginny doesn't want to get out. Livy, have you had it with him? Hey, sweetie pie, have you had it with him? Hey, is he being, is he, you can't have my meat bag, no. All right, so come Ginny, out you get. Well, she doesn't want to get out. Got Mr. Big behind. Hey big boy, always a good sign, marking the trees, so it already shows he's a little bit happier. Come Mrs, Miss Muffet, oh, down you get. Is it nicer? Is it nicer in there? Eh? <laughs> Ooh, you heard a lion. You heard another lion. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Vaetsi will keep an eye on him. Um, vet does. Vet's not really worried, which you know is a good thing. Um, maybe the behavioural change is just 
environmental. Maybe he just needs to get away from some lions on the other side there that are really making him irritated. But um, as I say, we'll keep an eye on, on him and how he treats his ladies and how he treats me. Okay, so now the fun begins because we're going to move six adult lions. Don't worry guys, I'm taking away your pesky neighbors. It's like a soap opera here at the sanctuary. This one doesn't get along with that one and that one doesn't get along with this one. And... Hello boy, you talking, hey? Ooh, my boy, you know what's going on, hey? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hello girls, yes, yes. Ooh la ma, ooh la 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 la. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna, if I can get in here, because they're just all pushing me out the way. There we go. There we go. Well done. So the question that always comes up, guys, is why don't they just grab the meat bag from me and run away with it? Why do they show me respect when I have a meat bag? And it, it, it is a, it defies logic, really, because you think to yourself, well, that's a lion and uh, I'm just a human. But once you start to um, understand uh, lion behavior and the dynamics and the laws of lions you start to you start to realize that um, possessions nine-tenths of the law and I have spoken about it before so one of the most interesting aspects of a of a lion is that they will respect um, if you have possession of something the moment you give that possession up the moment you give that possession up then it's fair game. Then, then, then the, the fight's on. Hello, my girl. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> Meg thinks she's going for a, for a walk. Later, my girlie. Later. It is cooking, guys. Really, really cooking. Anyway, I think they're going to be much happier here. Exciting times if you're a lion. Oh. Come, 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 come. Come, 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 come. come. Whoop, whoop, whoop. No, no, man, don't put your nose on my lens. Okay, and immediately off he goes exploring, checking out who the, who the adversaries are. Or it's just Meg. Oh, Meg, Meg, Meg. Hello, sweetie pa. Yes, my goodie. Oh, look at you. Look at you. I'm sorry about your neighbors. Yeah, nothing really I can do about them. Running out of, you know, I've only got one free enclosure, my girl. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to be moved away? I can move you from here. Hey? I'm not sure you want to move away from here. This is a nice enclosure. You got the best. People, some people say that um, there's favoritism going on in the sanctuary. Come on. Oh, whoa. One, yeah. 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 Yeah, Charlie. <laughs> Look at your bum. Yeah, Charlie. No, 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 no. Nicely. Okay. What on earth? Now I ask you, 
Really, would you want to live with that? Honestly. <laughs> I tell you something, I wouldn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And that is... Whoa, Neji! <laughs> Neji, Neji! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I was just about to say, that's what happens when you put them in a new enclosure, but now she's, her weight has caused the tree branch to snap. And now she's not too sure, because if that one goes, she goes. So I wouldn't do that, my girl. I'd go back up. Yeah, Bill. Go back up. Whoa! Don't put your weight on that one. Don't put your weight on it. Now we can understand why lions don't climb trees like leopards. And the real, the reasoning is because they are a lot heavier. And secondly, a lot less graceful. <laughs> Till next time here on Lion Whisperer TV.